Well, hello, folks. I kind of tried. See, I do apologize. This video is coming up late, but I'd like to thank you for watching. I am the one, the only. I am Hobo Tom. Uh, my notebook full of notes. There's a lot to get into. Um, this is going to be a double show. I do apologize for this being late. Uh, Saturday, I had to work the... Uh, well, Friday and Saturday, I had to work the races. Friday, I got home at a decent hour, but I was just tired. I had to wake up wake up and get stuff done Saturday, which just kind of sucks to do. But you do what you have to do to get paid. And then I had to work Saturday Sunday, so I didn't get a chance. To, and then Sunday, I watched the Royal Rumble. And you probably saw that as well. Let's see here. Let me center myself a little bit so you can always get a shot of the Dwarf Wrestling. Uh, so I have a whole bunch of thank yous to think about as well, because for some reason, people were very talkative during this episode of AEW. I wonder what they were talkative about. Oh, that's right. We, we saw Shayna. We saw Shayna and her Dragon Ball Z. Kame. Hame. Ha. Yeah, something like that. Um, that's old school DBZ for you. But, so, this is going to be a long video. Mainly a lot of shoutouts. And remember, if you talk to the one, the only, you manage to get in touch with Hobo Tom, you get a shoutout video dedicated just to you. Just let's... Get this party started. 40 ball. Not 40 count, but you got that six count. Bite me one for one. You are a master of the air guitar.
Pork. Pork, 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 pork. You're just dancing with your briefcase boombox. <laughs> Dick bait. You, sir, with a name like that, can just crawl out of here. Here, Uni. You, sir, win by dirty pen. In excess. Wait, that's an old group name. In in excess. One of those two. You, sir, with a name like that, are definitely a member the El Generico Band. Special episode. Holy shit! Hamchilla, that's right, Jordan is back. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. SC2010, you're that luchador on a forklift. Kane! 982H. You, sir, are experiencing the Mundo Madness.
And Joseph Miller, thank you very much for your comment. I think that you, sir, you're just natty by nature. Or you are superior. And with all this, with all that being said, let's get to the show. Um, it starts off, um, I don't know, this was, I'll tell you what, as always, it has its good moments, it had its okay moments. AEW kind of have to learn on how to put on a good show. And of course, we're having a Bullet Club reunion, so you know what that means, folks. Bullet Club music throughout the entire match. But not yet, though. First match of the night, we start off with Eddie Kingston taking on Lance Archer. Uh, this was an interesting match. I've always said that styles make fights. And in this particular match, you have the style of man who, like, off the street man versus, like, the, the monster wrestler. And, of course, if you don't know who's who... Eddie Kingston is definitely the man off the street, whereas Lance Archer just looks like a monster of wrestling. Um, so with that being said, um, it was an okay, it was it was an okay match. It's kind of the way you expected it to go a little bit. In the fact that oh, it's here. What called theme? Let me get things ready. There we go. that for that match that's okay so I'm, I'm just getting things set up um so eddie kingston again he, he he's smart he goes right after the knees and i'll tell you what lance archer was eating some really nasty chops because they were literally turning his chest red lance archer's chest was turning to hamburger meat very quickly eddie kingston was really good at that uh he didn't try and finesse anything uh, lance archer however would prove to be the stronger man except for when it came to his knees and knees are always the weak point of every big man. Uh, it starts really starts off as a brawl. Again, Eddie Eddie goes after the knees. And ouch! Oh, after a couple of trading blows, Lance Archer picks him up over the top rope and slams him on the ring apron. Catches the corner, which if you catch the corner of anything, really isn't good. In this particular instance, probably hurt a little bit more than it's kind of flopped off to the bottom. Uh, Eddie then gets shoved face first into the camera. That's good. I do like it when the, when the, the wrestling monster, because they're in this instance they're they're really both heels, and they do a lot of heel versus heel work, which, I mean, if you're gonna do that, you have to have very distinctive heels. So you have cowardly conniving heel, dastardly heel, very tactical heel, sneaky heel. This is just two heels, two generic heels going at each other. It was, it was still okay, though. Um, so then, again, Archer did his Undertaker rope, rope, rope walk. That was pretty good. And then all of a sudden, we see, then towards the end of the match, uh, Jake Roberts gets dragged in by the Butcher and the Blade and the Bunny. The Bunny... Wait, she's a bunny. I don't know. I forget if it was her top or if, her, or if it was more classically... Ooh, there they are. She slipped the brass knuckles or the knuckle dusters to Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston punches Archer in the head with them. Of course, that's an immediate KO. The ref was distracted because of the antics of the Butcher and the Blade and what they were going to do to old man Jake the Snake Roberts. Um, a pretty good match. I do like the fact that at least if, if you're going to have the monster heel lose, have him lose in a convincing fashion. Getting the brass knucks up to you, punching monster in the head. That works for me. It, it was actually a pretty decent match. Um, a, a solid cheeseburger match. Then we had John Moxie promo. Yeah, he doesn't like to do anything too complex. He just likes to fight. He likes to use his right hand and his left hand. Pretty basic stuff. Then we have... 
Hangman Adam Page and Ryan Nevaeh. I had no clue who these people were. Well, I know who Adam Page is, but this Ryan guy. This is where AEW loses me. They have competitive mat. They have competitive matches, but it seems like it's too competitive for what it actually should be. It really, doesn't that make mu- make much sense? I mean, Hangman Adam Page should have destroyed this chump for what it's worth. That's what he is. Um, Page he goes off the ropes. Again, big backdrop there by Adam Page. Again, good slingshot. Cross body. Uh, he's really good. Uh, Matt Hardy comes in. He wants to observe one hangman, Adam Page. Uh, of course, a little bit of distraction. Ryan Amaya hits a spike DET. A little discus for him there. Um, eventually, this match for me kind of went on too long. I kind of zoned out. I think I actually started... Did I have dinner then? Oh no, I, I was I had a bowl of ice cream then. That tells you how interested I was in this match. And yeah, uh, eventually gets the buckshot lariat. Again, that's just you kind of expected it. Again, a very predictable ending. <sighs> Ham sandwich of a match. And then Tony Khan comes out. He interviews Matt Hardy and Page. We might see Hangman and Page join the Hardy brand. Who knows? I wonder if Hangman Page ever misses being... Oh, did he ever get booted out? Did he ever get the heart out of Bullet Club? Not like the tag teams and not like the leaders did. Or, yeah, like Adam Cole, he got the hard boot. By the villain! Modern Skull, Yes! That was actually pretty cool. Um, AJ Styles obviously got eliminated by Kenny Omega. The Young Bucks, I think, eventually did take... I think the Young Bucks did actually take out the Good Brothers. So again, there's only one way out of Bullet Club, and that's on your back. Uh, then we had a Cody and Arn Anderson thing. Um, challenge for... It's going to be comparing, I don't know, something with Shaq and Jade Cardwell. Cody's not going to slap her, but Red, Red Velvet can. Yeah, that was kind of what I cared about that. Then I'll say what, this was, this was actually a really good match too. It was Dax Hardwood versus Jungle Boy. And I was surprised, well knowing what the main event was, I understand why this is here. Classic wrestling match to start off with. Dax Hardwood's so good. Such a classically trained wrestler. Jungle Boy, again, a little bit faster. Still really good. Oh, 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 There's rumor Tony Khan bought that song just for Jungle Boy. Indeed. Uh, Jungle Boy, again, the snare trap lock, whatever it's called. Uh, Dax eventually gets out of that. <laughs> he, just, he just kicks Jungle Boy straight Boot to the gut, and then the chops. Again, such a classly trained heel, the European uppercut. Dax, definitely more strike heavy, not as technical. Again, the way heel should be. If you're going to book a heel, this is the great best way to do it, especially in the uh, tradition of like the Brain Busters, um, the Enforcers, all the old school NWA teams like that. Let's see here. Jungle Boy had a, had a front... Front and back elbows. Trying to fight his way out of it. Dax, belly to belly suplex look great. Then took takes the boots to Jungle Boy. Then they trade, trade slaps a little bit. Then we got some really good counter wrestling. And this is where kind of the whole talent comes in. You can, you're can you very, you can do the flying stuff. You can do the, the, the more strike heavy. You have the mat wrestling. You have the counter wrestling. All the stuff was really good. Uh, Dax, a slingshot Liger bomb. Something new. I like new stuff. I like stuff I haven't seen before. Makes me interested. What's he going to do next? We shall find out. Uh, and then there was, however, he was going for the full Nelson. Again, very traditional move. Uh, could not get the full Nelson. And again, traditionally, heels always have a submission move. Um, the face always wanted to set you up for that one knockout blow. The heels wanted, wanted, wanted to make it drag on a little bit. Jungle Boy then hit the... 
hit, hit like a back elbow and then hit two belly to backs himself. Remember, Luchasaurus is actually chain is actually handcuffed to both the other uh, Scott and Tully. Uh, Jungle Boy got faked out by a punch. That was great. Ate a DDT. That was so good. And then it was the uh, trade of pins for a while. And then Dax eventually gets trapped in the snare trap, whatever it is. He taps. I'm surprised by this. I figured he would win. You set up something, even a six-man tag for for their show coming up, um, the Beach Bash, which, by the way, it's not necessarily beach weather out there. I'll tell you what, overall, this was a really good match, though. This is what a surf and turf match looks like. And eventually, um, towards the end, Jungle Boy gets beat up again. Again, Tully helps with a spike pile driver. That was that was impressive to see a person like a man of his age go up there. Uh, there was a little Team Taz thing. This was an okay match. Uh, Shayna versus Britt Baker. Shayna looks ab- <clears throat> Shayna looks absolutely amazing. Definitely cosplaying as female Goku. Uh, Britt Baker's pretending to be a wrestler. Cosplaying as a wrestler. I don't know. Now, did an arm ring. They trade arm ringers a little bit. Yeah, and Shanna. She has really good mat wrestling skills. That's the one thing I appreciate about this match. There was no watch at the first time she got rolled up. Uh, Shanna got, eventually had a stun, but she cannot hit a tiger bomb. And there was. There were. Oh, Britt Baker. Jeez, how hard is it to stomp on someone? She botched the curb stomp somehow. I don't even know how you do that. <sighs> Brit. Brit, you should feel shame. Seth Rollins is very upset at you. Uh, she eventually did get the lockjaw in. Oh, <sighs> She's just not good. She's too skinny. Yeah, yes, she looks like a woman. She looks like an overly skinny woman, though. I've said this in the past. Even though she looks like she's put a little bit of weight on. It, she just looks like a normal woman. Before you could... Like, I told I told um, Rebecca at the gym. Yeah, Britt Baker's abs. They're, they're not muscle, though. The only reason why you can see her abs is because she has nothing else there to show. It was a, it was okay. It was a, honestly, the person who stood out the most was, was, was Shanna. And then uh, Thunder Rosa didn't come out, beat up Britt Baker. I just want to, I want to see Thunder Rosa just shoot on Britt Baker, get this over with. I'm, I'm sorry, Shanna. That, that botch curb stomp kind of did me in. It's a can of soup match. And there's more of MJF and Sammy Guevara. And now, folks, it's time. It's time. It's, wait for it. Let's see. Let's get this right. Get this right. There we go. It is Bullet Club time. Because I am Bullet Club. Let's see. Let's get this over there. There we go. Wow. Shining in my eyes, shining with my guy. Cause you know what? Cause I am Bullet Club for life. Cause I am too sweet. So again, like I promised, I'm gonna be playing the Bullet Club theme throughout this. Cause we had the. B- 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 Bullet Club of the Young Bucks, the Machine Gunner Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows taking on the Dark Order. So Carl Anderson starts off. This is great. Um, he's, he eats, however, an inverted atomic drop. Um, Doc Gallows, John Silvers wants the big man. He wants Doc Gallows. Bad idea, John Silver. Gallows comes in. Alex Reynolds eventually. 
starts to take it to the Young Bucks. Again, you know which teams they figure out who could go against each other. Uh, Carl Anderson. He, he always gets beat up a lot, too. Um, Stu Grayson takes out everyone. Starts hulking up. Brody leading up. Yeah. You know that was going to happen because they're two. Well, no, no, not them. I'm sorry. They're okay. They're, they're the Dark Order. They're okay. Then all of a sudden, a brawl erupts outside. Uh, Silver then takes out everyone. He just shot Silver's up. Evil Uno, a rough assist and something that's always good. Classic pro wrestling gorilla Chikara move. It's good to see that he knows his roots. Then Road to Warrior Buck comes in. Again, because the, the, the one on two Northern Lights Virgin Suplex, which is horrible. You could really never do that. I hate that move so much. The double close lines, I understand. That's kind of basic. The more, yeah, one person's not, not throwing two people like that. Physics don't work. Come to the Bullet Club. So, yeah, um. Then the Dark Order hit the flawless victory and fatality. That was pretty good. The suit, then a super kick for it. Yeah, I can't bend that way. That's okay. I'm trying to like keep straight, but yet just turn my hips. It's, it's weird. Bad luck, Fallon. AJ Styles. Uh, then there was. <laughs> The four-time atomic bomb by the Dark Order. Again, a four-person super kick party. Uh, Evil Uno. Again, eats the magic killer. That's the end of him. Grayson eats the Meltzer Drival. So yeah, this is going to be good. So now we have. So now we have the tease because remember, at, so this match, I'll tell you what, this was fun. The Bullet Club was there because they're just for life because they're too sweet. And they teased because if the Young Bucks win the Tag Team Battle Royal, they actually get to choose who their opponents are. So they're teasing both the Impact and AEW Tag Team Belts in one night. Um, they can they continue to be at the Dark Order. Ray Phoenix came out. Or actually, Ray Phoenix came out because he's up sexy. Faces on later. And then, wait, you know what? I, I need more bullet, bullet, bullet Club music. I'm not done with this yet. Oh, wait. There we go. Classic AJ Styles. Hungry Ghost. Hungry. Yeah. Demi Guy. Oh, wait a second, yes. Where was I? Oh, yes, the tease. You have to play to AJ's theme, of course. The tease of the Impact versus the AEW tag team. A Ray Phoenix comes out because he knows he faces them for a beach bash. Then Moxie comes out to even things up. But we're still Bullet, bullet Club. Four. Life. And that was AEW. Oh, wait, that match? That was really good. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, mainly because it's Bullet Club. Definitely a surf and turf match. But that being said, that was AEW. That's right. This was that cluster bang of a show. Oh, hello, folks. Welcome back. For I'm the one, the only hobo, Tom. I do apologize for this video going up probably way too late. Um, it, I've been able to do absolutely nothing this week besides work. I guess that's why I get paid. Who knows? But I'm not here to talk about my woes. I'm here to talk about some... SmackDown Wrestling. And wow, that was an interesting show. The thing with SmackDown, it's good, but 
every so often they try to copy the stuff Raw does. And I'll get to that. I'll, I'll tell you why I think that. So let's start off here. Uh, starts off at Daniel Bryan promo. AJ Styles says, hey, if you want to get to the Royal Rumble, to go through me first. And as we know, because the Royal Rumble is well, well past us. And again, I've already given that video. I'm just kind of recapping what happened last week. This is a recap show. Might as well be. Because then tomorrow, and when I come home, I have to do that, so I have to leave. Okay. I'm trying to make it. I still have to go to the gym. Uh, see here. So, Daniel Bryan comes out promo. It just tells us, hey, you want to get, you get to the real show, you go through me. And our show starts, um, starts with a re recap. A recap of the obstacle course. Then, Kyla! We have... Uh, have, does a quick interview with Bailey. Then we have Bailey taking on Bianca Belair. This is actually pretty good. Bianca gets Bailey in the corner. Um, in this instance, Bianca is definitely the stronger of the two women. I know they're commenting a lot about the state of Bailey's ass. We're so terrible over there on YouTube. Oh no! Wait. Oh yeah, that's right. For this one, yeah, it was this one. We had a, I had a switch. I hate switching shows because it's just more fun to interact with the people over there at WooTube than it is to watch the actual wrestling itself. I wonder if I put this Let's see here. I am trying to figure Oh wow. That actually does balance fairly well. So that's good. Yeah, that's about right. That a little bit more forward. Ooh, sweet spot. Yeah, I'm sorry, I get distracted very simply sometimes by my newfangled technology that they've acquired. My boss and I were talking about cell phones, I'm like, nah, mine doesn't do that. Does it do this? Nah, doesn't do that. So, let's see, uh, Bianca again, gets Bailey into the corner. Bailey's a little bit more technical, though. Bianca's not as technically sound, she does have some very good technical moves, but Bianca's definitely the stronger of the two. Uh, Bailey again, very typical, says, no, no, I'm going to roll out of the ring, take my heel, time out. Then eventually he hits a sliding clothesline when she gets back in. She Again, baby faces are kind of dumb. They always get suckered into something. Bianca then just starts to beat down on Bailey. Bailey, the top rope, like, arm buster. That was weird. Oh, well, yeah. She grabbed her arm, did the top rope arm buster. That was okay. Bailey yells at Michael Cole. Because Bailey did shave the back of her head to say Cole. I don't know why. That's that's just weird. Imagine my, the back of my head saying Chispa. That would be kind of freaky. And first of all, there's not there's not a lot of canvas. Well, for a tattoo there is. But, but the hair is not so much for a canvas back there. So that, that, that was kind of funny though. Uh, Bailey, vicious knee. That looked great. Then that elbow. Oh, Bianca, you have to stay down and eat that elbow. You don't want to try and get back up from a prone, from a belly down prone position and take that elbow. That just had to leave a mark. Uh, then Bailey hit the La Magistra. Like, it's the one move I've always wanted to try and master, but I was never that good at it. It's a lot of moving stuff. I mean, Mr. Nabel had probably the next to me. Mr. Niebla probably had the absolute worst La Mijistra. It just looks so clunky. But yet people like Pentagon Jr. are so smooth with it, though. Eventually, Bianca Belair hits, hits the KOD on Bailey. No, Bailey. Ooh. Ah. You are really... No longer my girl. Sorry, Bailey. I had to do the Bailey song. Um, overall, it was a fun match, though. It was a solid cheeseburger match. <sighs> and then we had to go to Baron Corbin versus Dominic Mysterio. This is getting old. Uh, again, I think I just put again why, and I said, I'm just going to get dinner ready for myself. Uh, Baron Corbin, again, he's a bigger, stronger, smart, smarter, more ring-savvy heel. 
Dominic has all the energy in the world. Faster, quicker on his feet. Does not have the ring savvy yet. Uh, let's see. Corbin again, the smarter heel tactics. I think Dominic did try to go for a 619. However, Dominic does eat the end of days. Meh. Uh, Ray confronts his son. He's like, listen, son, you have to do what I tell you to do. And then eventually he beats on, on Corbin. Makes sense. That has to uphold the honor of the family. Yeah. You know what? This, this really was a can of soup match. <laughs> and there's Sonya Deville with, and, and Big E. <laughs> Big E has the best ugly Christmas sweaters. This time he had his gremlin sweaters on. I like the fact that he's busting out all the old 80s movies. He needs to have a Goonie shirt, a Goonie sweater on next. If not, you heard me call it here first. Goonie sweater. Um, then Big E and Mor uh, Miz and Morrison show up. Yeah, they double team. Eventually, they double team Big E. Eventually, Big E gets the better of both of them. Yeah, whatever. Sasha then tries to woo Reginald. Ah, uh, not good. Then a little Roman Reigns recap. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that's right. Then it gets the long part of the show. Because Shami and Shinsuke Nakamura, they kind of say hey to each other. Don't you remember me? Uh, Roman Reigns and uh, Kevin Owen did a split screen interview. That was okay. Kevin Owen is so much more animated though. There was a Drew McIntyre Goldberg promo. And this led to the match of Daniel O'Brien and AJ Styles with Cesaro on the microphone. Cesaro's actually pretty good. I mean, everyone knocks Cesaro for not being able to speak English, but he's... I understood him fine. And then he spoke French when Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn came down. Whoa. And Daniel O'Brien goes after the arm of, of AJ Styles into the hammerlock. Um, again, the whole story is Daniel O'Brien goes after the arm. AJ Styles, to get out of that, does the eye rake. The... Daniel Bryan is a big suplex into the double underhook kind of move. I forget, I can't even read my own handwriting. Um, AJ Styles kind of goes off the distraction of Sami Zayn as he interferes. And Sami, he's just being Sami. Daniel Bryan. He begins to take it to AJ Styles. AJ has uh, Daniel Bryan in, in the rope. In the ropes for a little bit. The back, with the back leg. Kick. And then the calf crusher. So that's really good to see. Uh, Daniel Bryan hit the Danielson special. No. That is the hobo breaker. Oh. And then transition that to the labella. Th there was some great technical wrestling. Uh, Big E shows up then. Clothesline Sami Zayn. And then just all kind of chaos appears. Cesaro gets involved. Um, Daniel Bryan takes out everyone. Zane beats on Daniel Bryan. Shinsuke Nakamura does the save for Daniel Bryan. Cesaro confronts Shinsuke. And then you know what happens, folks. Hala, hala, hala. We have ourselves a triple threat match. And you know it just gets weird... Uh, yeah, triple threat. To, uh, wait, a six-man tag. I'm sorry. It was Daniel Bryan. Uh, so that match, I have to give it a cheeseburger just because of Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles. It's getting to be that Vince is really overbooking some stuff. Again, we saw that in WrestleMania. We saw that for this past, or the future Raw. So I'm a week behind on that show, too. A lot of overbooking going on there in WWE. But I'll say what solid cheeseburger match though. Then I was confused. I thought I was watching Raw because again we had the, the six man tag. Daniel Bryan, Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura must be totally loving this. And Big E take on Cesaro, AJ Styles, and Sami Zayn. Uh, Cesaro and Shinsuke start off very technical match. Even Cesaro said, you know what? Even though we're at opposite sides, you still have some respect for each other. And they actually did that as such. Very technical match. Classic stuff. Uh, Big E. 
Again, he comes in with the big heavy blows. It's always good on, on Sami Zayn, the big heavy blows. Sami eventually kind of eats eats a running high elbow. Uh, Daniel Bryan works over Sami Zayn a little bit, then does some tag team work with Big E. Uh, again, Daniel Bryan, the classical holdout, again, the arm ringer holdout. As of course, someone from the top rope comes in with a double axe handle to the arm. Uh, Daniel Bryan gets his leg wrapped around the post though because again AJ Styles is a smart person he knows how to be vicious AJ Styles he knows how to be New Japan AJ Styles and I was kind of hoping I'm like this is going to be that like pro wrestling gorilla meets pro wrestling gorilla meets for the most part New Japan pro wrestling not to be though yeah so I was kind of disappointed in that but still uh, so this was a Sarah's swing Nailed Daniel Bryan, only holding one leg and then into the half crab. That was great. AJ continued the assault on the legs of Daniel Bryan. Then when Big E, obviously he's a big man, he gets a hot tag in. The belly to belly to everyone. Um, hits the Big E splash. <sighs> the return of overbooking. Miz and Morrison come in. And they beat up Daniel Bryan. And then Otis makes a save. And I like the fact that that was a Rage Against the Machine reference. So testify! Do, 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 do. Oh, wait a second. Let's see here. Can I do this? Let's see here. Give me a moment. I'm going to do some editing magic! 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 Here. I'm trying to work things. Reginald with Carmella. That's terrible. Testify. Here we go. No, not free and free. No, nothing is free in life. Okay, let's see. We do have to go through this commercial. So just a couple more seconds, I hope. Hopefully something's working. Oh, please, computer work. I hope you guys can hear this film. Testify! Testify! So yes, so we had a little testify reference there from Rage Against the Machine. There we go. Back to more normal human levels. Well, I will leave that up when I get a chance to go to the gym shortly. So that was pretty cool though. Again, whenever you can incorporate somehow a Rage Against the Machine reference, I will kind of feel happy. So Otis makes the save. And then you know what happens, folks. We did a holla holla, holla to this side. We're going to do a holla 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 to this side. Overbook madness. This is like Friday Night Raw. Um, ten minutes left in the match. We have a ten-man tag team match. It is Daniel Bryan, Otis, Shinsuke Nakamura, Big E, and someone taking on The Miz, Morrison, AJ Styles, Cesaro, and Sami Zayn. Again, uh, Miz, Miz and Morrison, they begin the double team. Uh, Daniel Bryan just beats on Miz. However, Morrison says, no, I have to save my tag team partner. Miz and Morrison double team Daniel Bryan. He gets worked over. It's AJ's turn to work over Daniel Bryan. And then Sheamus, Sheamus shows up. Bro. Oh, wait. Bro. The other bro, not 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 the bro, it's bro. Uh, so this leads. Sheamus joins the match. Sheamus cleans house. 
So I assume that the tell the ten beat to the Belfry. Sami Zayn eats an Irish cur curse backbreaker. It spawns to the Cloverleaf. And then because it's a ten man tag team, baby! We have to have our spot fest. Everyone gets their move in. That's pretty cool. The end of Sami Zayn. Uh, ends with Sami Zayn hitting a blue thunder bomb. That was pretty fun. Um, however, he gets stuck in the label lock. So yeah, uh, Daniel Bryan, Otis, Sheamus, Big E, Shinsuke Nakamura. They win, and then Braun Strowman comes in. Braun! And that's how the show ends. Um, this part of the match, I was over it. It was a ham sandwich of a match, folks. And that's going to conclude this marathon run. Hopefully I can get this edited tomorrow. Have it up by Friday, because on Friday, it's going to be a triple, triple, triple show. Um, you know what? I'll play just a little more Testify. Even though it's really not their best song. Um, oh, what is their best song? It's not Testify. Here we go. Seer. Actually, this is their best song. And this is just my opinion here. You can feel free a little bit. See it. Rin. There's only one th only one song. Yes. The best song of Rage Against the Machine. Seer. Oh, come on. I just want to fast forward this. Way too many advertisements. No, I don't care if it plays after the ad. I want to play right blanking now. Here, the grill radio is okay. I haven't heard that in a while. Bow, 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 bow. But to send you guys out, probably one of the best Rage of the Machine songs. Because I am the one, the only Hobo Tom. And I am the renegade of punk. So, a little bit about uh, next week. Next week is Pure and Utter Chaos. I'll go over that a little bit later. Um, I think there's only going to be one show, and that's going to be on Monday. And I might do a live stream of it, because I have to get to the gym that night. Because then my week goes shot to hell. So it's probably going to be Monday Night Raw. I'm off Tuesday, so there's no impact show for me. Mainly because I have to work the race track. Then Wednesday, I might... I don't know, I might do an AEW show, I might not. I have no clue. The way the completion. Revelation. Yes. This is a cool video. So yeah, uh well I was distracted, where was I? Oh yeah, um Friday there's gonna be no smackdown because I do have to do uh, one of the bigger races. I think that takes a little bit longer. Saturday, I probably will not be able to catch um, Impact. If I do, I might make some predictions. I highly doubt it, though. Because maybe the races that day... Oh, no, I might. Starts at 10. I have to be like two hours ahead of time, so I mean... That's a double header. Run the MCs, the run, run against a funk. LL Cool J. Um, Sunday then, I have the big race, they total 500, but don't worry folks, the following week, the week of the 15th, I have a bonus video, I'm going to show you, my YouTube audience, what it's like to be behind Speed Week, because that's where I, that's one of my main positions. So, again, as the music plays me out, salt and pepper. Yeah, um, oh, I have to send that video to her too. I can do that before that. Stop no. Earbuds in your ears. No, you want to stick earbuds in your ears, so I don't hear your freaking music. Oh, it's over. That's why. Take the reverb off there.